What's up everyone? It's Chachi Power here to do a review for Rocket Punch Army. Uh, it's going to be a nice quick review. Uh, it's my second um, Dr. Slump EX Goken review. The other one's on my old channel so make sure you check that out. Uh, this one is different from the other one because it is more robot -y, so it fits uh, in line with what I do here on this channel. So um, this is uh, Toriyama and he is from the Dr. Slump series uh, which is full of uh, little cutesy robots um, and this is one of them so we're gonna take a look at this I'll just let the box spin around one more time so you guys can enjoy uh, the niceness of this box it's got a nice matte finish and the figures are glossy so you'll see it's matte finish and then glossy all around so it's a nice box and here he is folks as you can see he's pretty cool looking um, not everybody's cup of tea I would presume but uh, I like designs like this, they're nice and simple and obviously it's a little robot or a little guy with a gas mask on but you'll see he's got the clamp type hands and as I did say before it is part of the EX Gokin line so this guy does have die cast I'm going to show you guys that in a second but I'll let you take a look real quick at the figure it's beautifully done, I mean this is high end stuff which is probably why it's part of the EX Gokin from future um, as you can see um, it is rather simple but it's pretty interesting and let me show you guys what I'm talking about this is from the Dr. Slump series uh, it's full of little crazy little robot things like this but um, I would like to point out again that these are rather high-end toys uh, they're from future so they're kind of pricey but I mean just look at the gloss on his shorts it's a lot of gloss. Now, if you turn it out back here, you'll notice that he does have a wind-up feature, and it actually works. I think it's just, just uh, you know, as a gimmick, it doesn't really do anything. But I thought that was really neat to include that in his figure. And he is rather hefty uh, for his size. Uh, he does have a good uh, amount of articulation. He doesn't really have knees. His legs do move forward and back though, They're really tight, I don't really want to try it right now because it's nice and cold up here, so the plastic might be on the brittle side, but the lower half of his body does move around, pivots, um, he does have the shoulder that goes way up there, movement like that, he's got the elbow, and then of course he's got the clamp hands, and even his little gas max looking thing uh, pivots, and then of course he's got a uh, very slight head movement, and again, very nice finish overall quality of this figure now as far as die cast content like I said this whole lower half which is very nicely done in very glossy orange paint that's all metal and so are his feet and it's really cool because he stands really nice you know he's got the movement in the ankles if you want to give him a wider stance he stands uh, pretty firm even though he stands nice and firm he does come with the stand which uh, I won't use I normally don't use stands on my stuff and then just check out the big gigantic thick cardboard this thing comes in so I'm gonna go ahead next and show you the accessory which is a big um, pen arm which you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second so by carefully removing his claw hand which I have here uh, you are able to put this uh, alternate hand which is uh, basically holding on to this big gigantic pen which is that old style pen with a split tip and again, Future spared no expense on this. That tip uh, looks like chrome plastic, but it's actually chrome metal. So that's really cool. Uh, very nice detail. I mean, anybody looking at this would assume it's just a little kid's toy, but it's the quality. I really can't stress uh, the quality on this. And I, I love the fact that it has the wind-up feature. I think that's so cool. Uh, more toys should have stuff like that. Uh, but it's a it's a great piece and again check out the other future EX Goken I have on my other channel If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below until next time guys. Uh, bye